afternoon and welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten. My name is Sam and I'm here today to do a kitten up. So if you are here for the very first time, hi, welcome, I hope you enjoy. If you are coming back, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, it's very much appreciated. Long may it continue. So today I am kitten up this picture that I got from Fan Cells, this is a 50 by 50 centimetre um, poured glue canvas. Um, I've already done an unboxing of this, so please do check that out. But I've got the picture out because I'm going to steal this. We're going to be kitting this up today. So, if you are of a nervous disposition, please look away now. So the reason I do this is because these don't come with an inventory sheet, which is what I would normally use for my labels. Um, but because it has two legends and because I don't work using legend, I don't need it. So I'm going to roll this one back up and move it out of the way, just so we've got some free space. I'm going to get rid of this little bit of paper. Um, I would usually crank out my paper cutter, but because this is canvas, it, it's just easier to cut it with scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off at the bottom. And all I actually want is the symbol and the DMC number, because that is what I will use to kit up later. So I'm going to cut that off there. And then I'm going to cut off this bit because I don't need this extra bit here. I know you'll be watching this and you'll be thinking, why? This will probably really bother some people. Um, but for me... Do you know what? I'm using what I've got. So, um, like I said, I don't use the key when I am kitting up, when I'm working anyway. Um, I literally go by whatever symbol is on the canvas. And I want the DMC numbers to make it easier when I'm kitting down. Um, my mum, however, just has her pots labelled with the numbers that are on the legend. So, therefore, she does need the legend. But I don't, so I get rid. Next thing to come out is my Xyron sticker maker. And you simply pop your canvas in there, grab the piece of paper at the bottom, and you just pull. So the first bit's the hardest bit because you want to make sure it's gripped it. There we go. And if you do this slowly and carefully enough, it will go through straight. Just like so, nice and easy. I love the Xyron sticker maker, absolutely love it. All the way through, and then we just cut it off. Okay, the Xyron sticker makers themselves aren't that difficult to get hold of. I got mine off Amazon, I think it cost me $15.99, and it came with a roll of the sticker paper. The refills, however, can be a tad expensive and can be quite difficult to get hold of. Um, I did manage to get hold of my latest refill on Amazon for around, I think it was around £13. But it does take a while to arrive because they're coming from the States, but they're brilliant. Especially if, like me, you like to have the labels. So Zyron sticker maker I'm done with. I will one day show you my little crafting area come nail bar um, so you just press down on this top cover just to make sure it is firmly stuck you then peel she says not always the easiest thing to do when you've got nails on why am i struggling so much today if you've just watched my um 
Whipham chat, you will know that I'm not very well. Um, I have some type of, I cannot get this off. Damn you nails. I will persevere, I promise. There we go. So that's just left behind those. And they are now a sticker. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling very well. I've got some sort of flu bug, which my husband had last week. A um, little bit coffee in places, a little bit of a sore throat. I'm not horrendously unwell, but um, I'm certainly very tired. So that's why I'm doing this today. We have our drills there. We will come back to that. The other things that I have got, I have got some cheap spare bags. All of these came in one of my kits from Diamond Art Club. So they give you more than enough to kit up the whole project if you want to. I don't like working out of baggies. But I've got those just in case I can't fit them all in the tubs. I have some cheap stickers which came with this little case. And this is what I'm using to kit up today because we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 colours and this is a 30 bottle case. So why not kit it up? So I'm just going to make sure everything's in shot, which it is. I have gone for more of a um, wider angle this time after advice from Sharon. Thank you very, very much, Sharon. So let's get going. I am going to turn this on its side because that's how I like to do it. And literally, when you're cutting your labels, cut through the label. Don't cut all the way through the paper because that then keeps all of your labels together so you don't lose them. This is where you don't want too big a pair of scissors because you'll overshoot it. And me personally, I wouldn't want to have all these individual stickers flying all over the place because then they will come out of order and that will annoy me. So I hope you're all doing okay today. I hope you've not got the flu bug that I've got. Um, I'm doped up on um, flu medication and painkillers because my back is quite bad. I'm going to pull that one off so we've got that little section and then I'm going to do this one. I love I love using the legend for labels. They just look so nice on the bottles. And I know that's not the important thing about diamond painting. You know, the important thing is that the diamond painting is nice. But to me, because I am one of those people that loves organising. I love stationery. I love things to look pretty. I'm one of those people that would use an erasable pen at work so that if I wrote down a note quickly and it wasn't neat enough, I could rewrite it. That's the sort of person I am. I do, however, need to point out that I am not like that in all aspects of my life. I am quite happy to leave the pots stacked up for the next morning before I load them in the dishwasher. I'm quite happy for that basket of ironing to sit there forevermore because I don't do ironing unless it's a wedding. Um, but when it comes to this, I love it. I love when they're neatly labelled up and you've got all the pretty... Oh, went too far with that one. That's what I meant. Um, yeah, I like them all to be labelled up nicely. It just looks nice. So I'm then going to turn my case on its side. This is just what... Wrong way. This is just what I do. I'm not saying that everybody has to do this. And then I'm just going to label up as I normally would. And these fit perfectly on these little pots. These little 30 pot ones I've noticed have more of a rounded um, lid. Doesn't affect the stickers. And in actual fact, I would have had room to leave the numbers on there as well. But I don't. I know that this is a 30 case. I know that there is 1 to 6, 6 to 12. 
so they're in number order anyway what i'm interested in is that they stay in dnc order because that's what i'm going to use when i kit down um, again i'm kitting this kit up i may not do it for a little while um, it will join my stash of kitted up paintings just the way I work. I always think that if I've got plenty kitted up then I'm never gonna be in a situation where I get one finished and the next one's not ready because I hate that and usually if you're anything like me I get to that last bit and I, I rush to get it finished because the last bit of a diamond painting is the worst bit for me. So what I try and do to stop me getting fed up is I try and leave an interesting bit, so ideally a bit with confetti, to the last um, to keep me interested. I don't want to be ending on massive sections of colour blocking because I will lose interest. So I try and save an interesting bit for last. And um, very often that means that I finish quite late in the evening. I normally go upstairs to watch TV around half eight, nine o'clock because I'm up early. So I go to bed quite early. Um, I don't go to sleep that early. I'm normally watching a programme or something. But I don't generally diamond paint really late into the evening, into the night. So if I get to about seven o'clock, half seven, I want to know that I can take my kit and put it away once I've finished it and I can just pull out another one and get started. So I'm going to put my labels to one side in case we have any extra baggies. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to get a tray ready. I've got a pen in case I need the labels. I've got a little rubbish tray. Let's get these out. If you do not like the crinkling, I'm sorry. For me, it is the sound of joy because I know that crinkling means that I'm opening a new diamond painting. So let's get rid of those. These drills don't look too bad. I must say, the drills from fan cells don't seem to be too bad. Generally, they're not the shiniest. They're not the most faceted. Is that even a word? Faceted? Um, but they're okay quality, they're not bad. They don't have a lot of a lot of trash. So they don't have the DMC number. They do, however, have this number on. So the canvas number is what I call it. And literally start from number one and work my way through. Let me get my train case, I spill them. And off we go. Um, I'm going to cut a corner just because that usually gives me some control. Um, what I haven't had from fan cells is a lot of static. The only one, the only canvas I've had with static was chipper. That was quite, quite bad. 310, not masses, not a huge amount. I'm going to cut this corner off. Um, this little yellow bin thing, um, I bought a number of, um, they, I think they called them draw organisers from Pound Stretcher, and there was a really big one. And then two smaller ones in it and then four of these. So this is what I use for my rubbish currently. I really want to have a little collapsible bin like Rebecca's got from Admiral Zest. I have one saved in the Amazon basket. But because it's quite a cheapy thing, I tend to wait until I've got a number of things saved up. And then I buy them all at once. I go weeks with nothing off Amazon and then I will have times where I've just got loads coming over the course of two or three days and my husband's wondering what's going on. 
this is quite a full bag. Um, I don't know how many these pots hold. Um, not as many as the bigger bottles. So I may need another bag for this one. No, they're not all going to fit. Okay, so two ways that you can do this. You can either get your bag, fold this over, just leave that little number and just put that bag in there. And then you don't have to go to the lengths of labelling up a bag, um, which I have done before. However, when I kit down, I will probably kit these down into bags anyway for my mum because she keeps all the normal rounds. So I am going to put these into one of these little bags, but I'm using these little red line bags because they're not very good quality. So I wouldn't use them in my spares. So I'm going to put that one back on there like that and i'm going to pour those i don't normally do bag to bag let's see how it goes if they spill everywhere then i will pour them into the tray next time no went in okay i do have another bin down here by the way um so that will go in there and I will then just pop it into one of these pencil cases and that will fold up and sit in the net on my, in my case so that I can keep it all together. Same with this one, they're not all going to fit in. So for me, these, these rounds will go straight to my mum so I will just give her the bags. They've already got the DMC numbers on them, she can put them away because she will more than likely use them. This is a really nice colour. What's this? 600. So again, I need another bag. So I do reuse these bags. My mum um, uses baggies quite a lot. Um, it's just not, I don't, I just don't like working out of baggies. Um, I will say that these are very clingy look. Um, if you notice yellow on my finger, I haven't got horrible manky fingers. Um, I was um, trying to get something out of the cupboard where my printer is today. And um, I stupidly um, put a new yellow cartridge in the printer, but didn't put the old one away. It was on top of a piece of paper and it had got ink coming out of it. So I now have a yellow finger. So that will go in there. I'm interested to see what the um, Hua Can storage is like. Um, I have got a kit kitted up. I've mentioned this before. 606. Um, and I quite liked that when I kitted it up because it had the different size pots, which meant that I didn't end up with any spare baggies at all. I literally, well, I think I did a couple, but not many. And I had enough room in the storage to just poke the bags down amongst the pots. So I'll be interested to use that if it's okay. I may get a couple. The problem is for me, if I'm going away, the Hua Can storage is quite big. You know, it's quite a hefty. It's all right if you're at home. But I'm not sure I would want to take that away in the caravan. I think it would just take up too much room. You have to admit, those labels look so nice. And because it's a canvassy material, the um, fan cells canvases are a nice material. They're, they're stiffish, um, but they do make cracking labels and they come off very easily as well. Um, even despite the fact that um, I have got permanent tape in my Siren um, sticker maker. 
Um, the next reel I put in is repositionable, which is supposed to, I'm not saying it does, it's supposed to be easier to get off. But I do have a bottle of goo gone. Are these going to fit? Yes, they are. We're going to squeeze them in. Okay, so they're all in. Let me just um, put my stool back up because it's done its usual sinking thing. I'm going to grab my cup of coffee. You must always, always have a, a drink when you are diamond painting. It's imperative. And in my case, it's coffee. Because that's all I drink. Okay, next one. Seven, eight, three. I think a lot of the things that I do when I am kitting up, are things that some people probably wouldn't bother doing because it just it's just a waste of time you know why make a bag a lot of people will use these bags and they'll just take them back up you know why take the time i don't know it's just it's the way that my brain works i just enjoy it more if it looks nice what i have noticed about um this which I noticed when I was doing the labels can you see I've got a D a small D and a small B um, they are slightly different colors the problem is if I end up working my canvas sideways or upside down so my tip for that is if you have got your canvas and you are working it from at the side turn your pot when you put your pot down when you're diamond painting, turn it so the symbol is the same way that you are working. Makes it easier. But I will have to keep an eye on that. Okay, 783 is done. 823. I haven't decided. Um, I did say that I am going to be saving my rounds from Diamond Art Club, so good quality rounds. I haven't decided if I'm going to save all my rounds from fan cells yet. So far, the ones that I have done, the, the beads are at the drills are actually quite good quality. Um, I just don't know whether, because my mum's already got loads stored. Look, I've got static now. I can't get rid of the stupid bit of paper. Um, because she's got lots stored, I think it might just be easier to give, it to, give them to her and I'll just keep my good quality ones. Not decided. But I will be putting bags in for rounds. I've got the stickers already. I just haven't got them bagged up. Again, I will do de-kitting videos. For each canvas as I do it. 902, lovely burgundy colour. F. What do you guys do differently when you're cutting up? What's your favourite storage? I shall tell you what I've used so far. Um, when I first, my first kit, I worked out of the, oh, Dilemma, are we going to fit them in or is it going to be too full? Nope, so I'm going to pull them into there. That's a piece of trash. Let me pull some of these out. Put the lid on. Let me just create a bag for that because um, I don't want to overfill it. Um, when I first started my very first canvas, I, I was working out of the bags and they were bags similar to these ones that they came in um, and very quickly realised that I needed something to put them in. So I ordered a case of um, Amazon, which were the Tic Tac boxes. Hated it. Absolutely hated it. It was fine getting them out to work with, but trying to get them back in again. I'd pull the lid out and then the lids, 
the whole lid out and then the lids got quite loose so then I'd go to pick it out of the case and the whole lid would come off. I'm so clumsy, I'm bound to spill that stuff everywhere. So didn't like that. Um, my mum and my daughter had the, the little um, cases with the four joined pots in. Hated that as well. I used one of those for a little while. Um, luckily for me, I had found um a couple of people on youtube i've got static from the plastic like literally look it's just <laughs> it's just sticking to me it probably isn't helping that i am working on a plastic mat so let's get rid of that rubbish so we can get rid of the uh, the magical flying corners um yeah, I wasn't keen on that either, um, but I was watching, I started watching YouTube quite early on and saw these bottle cases advertised and I literally went straight into these. So these so far are my favourites, most definitely. Um, I, I will hold judgment on the Huacan ones once I start using it. And the only reason I ordered the Huacan one was because I had a voucher on AliExpress after buying some diamond paintings from there, which meant that I got a 50 piece Huacan storage container for £10. I think it was £10.71, um, which was a fabulous deal. Um, so I have got that kitted up. I'm looking forward to trying it. Whether it will take over as my favourite, I don't know. But because I do quite a lot of the bigger ones, so this is where that would come in handy. I have got two bags of number 15. So I know they're not both going to fit. So let's get part of one in here. Um, yeah, when you're doing paintings that have got multiple bags like this, the Huacan storage could be quite handy. And I do tend to do a lot of the bigger paintings. So it could very well be a favourite. It's all going to come down to getting them open and closed and getting the diamonds in and out. It will depend on how good it is for that on whether I like it or not. So time will tell. So 954, I'm going to put that one in there. I'm going to pour these into this tray. But I really like the bottle storage. I love how they're, I love how they look. I love the fact it's portable. I love the fact you've got the net bag in there. Um, so that you can put your spares or your tools or whatever. I mean, I couldn't get my tool bag, I don't think, into this one. Because I've got quite a big tool bag. But certainly on the 60 cases, the 42 and 60 cases, you could. So let's put that in there. That will be my spares. So quite a few spares already. So yes, time will tell. We shall see. Um, the 60 bottle cases that I've got tend to have slightly bigger pots. So you can get even more in those. But this is, I don't need them for a, oh, I've got, that was really awkwardly stuck in the corner then. So currently I'm at home. I've had my, uh, my lens zip recently. They're not all going to fit either. Um, my daughter is in town with her friends. My husband is at work. My mum is away. So I need a bag for 958. So apart from me and the dog, it is very quiet here, which I like. Another bag. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Diamond Art Club, for all the extra baggies. My mum, um, I have better bags than this for 
saving in my spare storage. My mum also does. But it's her problem to get them from these bags into her bags, not mine. It's unlikely that I will keep all of the rounds. Mainly because I haven't found anywhere where you can get pre-printed pre pre canvases for round drills. You can get blank canvases for round drills. But I'm not clever enough to make up my own pictures that way. I would need it to be printed. Nine, five, nine. Oh, our drills are in two strips. Just make sure I've got the right one. 17. But I don't like the little bags with the red strips on them because they're so flimsy and they tear so easily. But I think quite a few of these bags are going to have too many. I don't want to overfill them because then what happens is you take the lid off and they go everywhere. And God knows I'm clumsy enough without doing that. So yeah, a few spares, bags, but you know, do what you've got to do. Nine, five, nine. And again, I wouldn't use these little stickers anyway, so I might as well use them for something. I do, as always, have my little sticker. So I will put one on this case for what painting it is. And I will put one on the outer bit of my main case, just in case they get separated. Which could happen in this house. Anything could happen. Nine, six, one. So a bit of a, um, we've had some sunshine today. It's a bit on the chilly side. It's getting a little bit darker now. We're what, 10 past three? So far, the drills don't look too bad. I've had a couple of packs where I've got hitchhikers in. Um. Other than that, they look all right. They're not super shiny. I would imagine because of the price, I think I've said this before, I would imagine that these are acrylic drills, not resin. Oh, got a random in there. That's another one. It's annoying that I've only got this small amount that needs putting into baggies. Annoying as hell. But never mind. Which one was that? 992. <clears throat> I don't actually mind buying from places like Fan Cells. I haven't really brought from lots of different companies. Um, I, I went on to AliExpress to buy. I got my Ever Moment from there. I got my Hua Cam ones from there. I got my Freddy from there. Um, the others have all come either from fan cells or from Amazon. Um, and then, of course, my Diamond Art Clubs. But just the, the current Diamond Art Club one that I'm doing, I mean, I'm literally flying through it. It's going to take me a couple of days more. That's it. Um, so I'll get it the right way around. That one can go down. We've got two bags of 19, which is oh three bags of 19. So I'm guessing that's one of the main colours. I confused myself there. I thought, hang on, that don't go right. Luckily, like I said, I know that's number 19. Whew, nearly made a mistake. This is another reason that I like using the um, Legend of the Canvas because the colour 
you know, gives me a heads up if I might have got it wrong. Get those two out. Pick up the stragglers. Um, the rest of today, I've got to venture out to pick my daughter up from town. I have my food shop coming, so I need to put that away. Um, rest of today will be diamond painting, I think. I'm not planning on doing too much. Um, another early night, possibly. Um, my headache isn't as bad today as it was yesterday. Yesterday I had a migraine. It was awful. I couldn't wait to get home from work because I just couldn't concentrate. I couldn't wear my glasses. That very often happens. Um, so my glasses, I wear very focals. However, um, I don't have to wear my glasses all the time. I just end up wearing them all the time because I can't be bothered to take them on and off. Um, the problem is that if I get a headache, I tend to find that wearing my glasses makes it worse. So I end up taking them off. Um, but then I can't see stuff close up. Um, so I'm meant to wear them for close work, i.e. crafting, diamond painting, whatever, reading, watching TV, driving. Um, which is where the long vision comes from or where I've gone long sighted as I've got older and then um, and then the rest of the time I don't need them I just can't bother to keep taking them on and off my face which is why I went for very vocals in the first place um, my sister thinks it's hilarious I've got very vocals but she's literally just spent the last year or so with three different pairs of glasses because she felt she was too young to have very vocals. And when I saw her the last time, she goes, yeah, I'm going to have to get some now. I laugh. Once you're used to them, they are a lot easier to use than having numerous pairs of glasses for everything. No. I'm going to make that fit because like literally it's four drills so I'm going to make you know lick your finger up it is very very full it's overly full and I do have a random colour one in there but they're in I will cope beautiful colour though so coming to the last two Numbers 25 and 26, not a lot of this one, so that's good. So not too long a kitten up video. Um, I don't see much point in showing you how I prep the canvas. There is no prep to the canvas for me. Literally, it, I'm not going to bother with that one. Um, literally... Um, I pull the clear cover back, I put washi tape over any sticky around the edges, not just because I don't like to get sticky on my hands, but also to stop fluff, etc, dirt sticking to that sticky bit. Um, and then what I do is I get my cover papers and I cover up the first usually the first two rows and then as I finish each section I move that bit of paper further up when the clear cover starts to annoy me because obviously it won't stick where the cover paper is I then put it off that's it but there is no special procedure for prepping a canvas um, I may on occasion especially with fan cells etc um, I may iron the canvas if it's particularly creased especially the smaller ones because they tend to get creases where they've been folded around the drills um, but again it's on a very low heat most of the time 
I hang up on, on hangers, on trouser hangers, my canvases, once I decide which one I'm doing next. So usually in my sunroom, I've got hanging up the one that I'm working on and the next one. And just leaving them to hang for a while tends to work. So that is that case kitted up. Put that away. I will put those back. I'm going to find my labels. So this is what I'm on about. So I'll do two. So I called this one Balloon Girl. I have no idea why. Don't ask me why. I give them names if they don't have a name. I know what I mean. It's a 50 by 50 centimetre and I got it from Fan Cells. So same here. It is a 26, so I usually just put the number of colours in a circle on there so I know what it is, and it is a round. That then gets cut in half. Um, these you can download from Admore Zest on her web page for free and print onto sticker paper. So that's what I did. Bless her heart for giving us free downloads. She also has other stickers on there as well. The trick is whether I can get the sticker paper off. This is always a problem when you have acrylic nails always harder to get the stickers so I put one on this little case because that has my stairs in it and then I just fold the edge over and pop it into there and that stays in there and then this one goes on the outside of my case and this is why I love these cases They've got nice little sturdy handles. If I was going away in the caravan or if I'm going to work and I wanted to take a small painting with me, these cases are ideal. Um, I did have a 15 bottle case as well. However, I bought it specifically for my ostriches. Um, it's very rare for me to have a painting that has that few colours in it. So um, I gave that to my friend because I managed to get her interested in diamond painting. And she had a little one. So I gave it to her for her to try out. So I do have now three 30 bottle cases. Two of these ones my mum currently has because she's um, got a couple of my paintings that I gave her. I have two 42 bottle cases, I have three 60 bottle cases and two 120 bottle cases. So storage I've got plenty of, plus I also have, sorry, kick the camera stand again. Where's my case? Where is it? It's under here somewhere. Oh no, it's not, it's in the room so I can't show you. I've also got a little, a little case that's got um, 24 bottles in um, but again like I said it's rare for me to do I've got two or three pictures I think that have got under 25 colours so most of the time I'll put them in a 30. That is that from me for today for this kitting up so um, yeah looks like an interesting paint in this one um, but the symbols look very clear. There's an awful lot of colour blocking in this section here, but I'm looking forward to doing it. So I called it Balloon Girl because it looks like she's got balloons on her head. I think it's just a special hat, but that's what it reminded me of. Um, so that is it from me on this kitten up. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Please do hit that like button if you like the content. Please do subscribe if you want to come back. I would love to have you watching
because there's nothing crazier than a bird sitting and talking to herself all day. So you're saving my sanity. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I will be back very soon with another whip. Um, it's been great to have you along. So that one's done. I'm going to put that away in my dresser. So from this kitten up kitten, it is over and out. Bye.